within a couple of years, the spot where I'm standing now will be under about 50 feet of water. Economic necessity or an act of vandalism. Whichever way you look at it, it's big. Lake Pedder and the beach as they are today will be lost forever. Had it still existed, uh, it would have had the same sort of status in Australian mythology as other landscape icons like Uluru and Kakadu and, and the Great Barrier Reef. And that this could be for Lake Pedder the last summer. Despite protests in 1972 from the general public and the Newborn Greens Party, the Hydroelectric Commission flooded and dammed Lake Pedder. Now people are still campaigning to fix this man-made tragedy to this very day. Tragic loss of the world famous inland beach. That wasn't the only tragedy in the flooding and damming of Lake Pedder. As native animals and their habitats have died and have been destroyed, and also the rare Tasmanian hume pine trees are now 50 feet under the much larger artificial lake. So how do you think Lake Pedder was a tragedy? Well, I think the, the flooding of the original Lake Pedder was a tragedy because uh, it's such an amazingly beautiful and unique place. And it's now underwater. I don't think enough attention was paid to its values and qualities um, before the decision was made to flood it. The damming and flooding of Lake Pedder was Green's first major conversation battle yet in Australia. Many attempts were made to save Pedder, such as posters, postcards, public meetings, stickers, were all tried, but nothing led to success. But one of the biggest campaigns to save Pedder was Aligus Trachinus, as he took photos of the original Lake Pedder, which spread general awareness about the importance of the Tasmanian nature. The damming of Lake Pedder was a significant event in Tasmania's history and has affected how we deal with preserving Tasmania's natural environment, including the possibility of restoring Lake Pedder to its original state. So, do not develop the feeling that it's gone forever. The original lake bed and famous quartz beaches lie silently under a few millimetres of silt and 15 metres of water. Research into the condition of the original environment under the current impoundment has revealed that the landscape is basically unchanged due to the rapid filling of the dam. In my perspective, I'm 100% against the flooding and damming of Lake Pedder as it was a world tragedy it's the only inland lake was destroyed. But we can turn this tragedy into a triumph. If we restore the hidden gem of the Tasmanian wilderness, it will be triumphant to see Lake Pedder and its beautiful beaches back again. <laughs>